uh, we made a lot of progress over the last uh, 15 years, maybe 20 years, in understanding the relationship between inequality and uh, development, and in particular inequality and economic growth. We understand why when uh, resources are distributed in a very inegalitarian way in an economy, why it is more difficult for that economy to, to grow and to develop. Uh, and this has been a great achievement. But uh, where we are today uh, is uh, to, we are asking ourselves whether the way in which we measure inequality is the right one. We are measuring what we observe. What we observe is income, consumption expenditures, in some cases, very rarely wealth. Uh, is it really the only kind of inequality that matters? Or uh, shouldn't we uh, be looking at the same time as access to labor market? Uh, people who would like to have a job and are not able to get a job. Shouldn't we look at the discrimination on the labor market or discrimination on the housing uh, market? Uh, isn't it the okay case that this kind of inequality uh, is the uh, kind of inequality which is producing inefficiency and inequality in the outcomes, inequality of the economic results, inequality in the standards of living. And this is where we stand. We are using inequality in the standards of living as an explanatory factor for development, whereas inequality of the standards of, of living and development are both the consequences of more fundamental upstream inequality which today we are not uh, 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 measuring in a satisfactory way. So this is really my uh, main message.